Sports Pregame Show. Hello and welcome to the NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson here with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. And folks, you can feel the fierceness, the intensity of this series setting the tone prior to Game 3. And coming right up, we'll see the Milwaukee Bucks playing against the Atlanta Hawks in their house, Phillips Arena. Looking at the Hawks, they were unable to take Game 2 on the road, but the series continues. They look to get back in the win column again tonight. And after stealing one on the road, they've put themselves in the driver's seat. Shaq, how big is this home court advantage in the series right now? It's big, Ernie. They're in a really good position if they win here tonight. This game is obviously not technically a must win for either team, but it will certainly be a pivotal game when you look back at the series. What kind of a game will it be? Pivotal. Pivotal. I, I agree with P -I -B -B -O -B -O you. P-I-B-B-O-B-O-L. Pivotal. I could yeah. not have said that better myself. How about you, Jed? Man, I, I love pivotal games. It's just the series is tied up. Both teams want this game badly. And, you know, I think with the home team being here and their fans behind them, the Pippable will move in their pendulum in their favor. Nice. Wow. There were a lot of P words right there. Uh, and now with a play by play, here's Kevin Harlan. Disappointing how many free runs to the hoop they got. So it's the Hawks now. Following the bucket by the Bucks. Young pass it to the monster. Oh, and here comes Holiday all alone. And that comes off the assist by Jeff T. And that's how you take the steal and turn it into a transition opportunity. I think that's the perfect time to do it, Greg. I mean, those few seconds after the turnover strike right away because the defense has no chance to get over. Got a piece of it. And now, just over a minute played here in the first. Outside Corver. The monster passes to Young. Here's the monster. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. <laughs> well, Merry Christmas. I mean, that was a freebie. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. One shot. One shot. The Bucks have gone two or three here to start out the game. T dishes to Lopez. No good from outside. Bucks on defense. Young with the ball. Now guarded by out of the Kumbo. And Gallinari kicks to Collins. No good. And Milwaukee the other way now. Holiday the pass to Portis. T dishes to Lopez. Back 
to tee. Shoots. Solid as a rock from 20 feet away. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. Young with the ball. Plays it up and in on the nice reverse. That's as good as it gets right there. Beautiful reverse layup in traffic. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Mike Budenholzer and I got a chance to talk for a bit. Stealing a win on the road was huge for them. The coach said that protecting their home court is an even bigger issue. And to do that, he says the key is aggressive defense. As he put it, we want to prevent them from getting into any kind of comfort zone at our end of the floor. Guys, back to you. And thanks for that story, Doris. For them, they've gone three or five shooting the ball so far. Collins, a screen on Hubbard. And Young gets to Collins. Connects from three-point range. A lot of space right there to get that shot off. Not a very good job of the defender getting over the top of that screen in that particular play. Now, here's Teague. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Misses the lane. If they could end every possession with that shot, they'd be happy. Nine times out of ten, that's an easy layup for him. Collins against T. A baseline J. Collins. Ooh. Collins has got his second bucket tonight. And it looks like he might just be on his A game today, Clark. Call on a fast break for Atlanta. Back to Young. The Hawks working the ball around. Pass to the monster. And he gets the bucket. The monster's got seven. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. Very high percentage so far. And if you want to start a game hot, that's the way to do it. Now, here's Lopez. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Just five to shoot. They need this one. Shot is no good. Yeah, but the hand in the face. It's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Yeah, how about the body control on that one? Narrowly misses getting the deuce. Boy, he had a nice look at it after, after drawing the foul. Boy, it would have been nice to get an and one there. All right, now, gentlemen, two shots, loose shots. The free throws drop for Corbin. Good from Corbin. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. Now here is Holiday. Outside, out of the Kumbo. The feed to Lopez. Here's the screen. Teague against Young. To halt the run and denied at the rim. But they call the foul. Whistle blows and we'll see him shoot two from the line. All stops the duck there. The best outcome in a bad situation. You know, you don't like the foul, but if the alternative is giving up a dunk, it's an easy choice to make. I think it sets a tone for your defense around the rim. Make them earn. Two shots. Two shots.
Hawks the second from the walk. The Hawks leading by nine. But Trey scored the basket, his second of two attempts. Already seizing control of this game. Total control, Greg, and as well as they're playing at both ends, I look for this lead to get even larger. Now, here's Teague. Lopez passes to Teague. Over in the corner, out of the Kumbo. Up they get it back. No good off the back of the rim. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. They're allowing a sky-high field goal percentage. That won't get it. <laughs> Not at all, Clark. You rarely see a team surrender points this easily. They have got to do better. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. And they've gotten good looks, you know, so that's one reason they're frustrated. Maybe he can come up with something to get them an easy one, maybe get to the line. Yeah, you know, that may be the answer for them. But you know what else, Greg? Ultimately, I think because they're getting good shots, they'll make a better percentage of them going forward. And you can tell they're just a little out of sync. I think he just wants to get everybody back on the same page. Yeah, I like this timeout, Greg. I think it's a good one because it looks like they need a, a minute to talk things through here. And so it's Milwaukee with it. They trail by 14. And Holiday kicks to Honda Takumbo. And he dunks it down. Now that's finishing your work right there. Powerful two-hand, Jim. You're right. And I tell you what, if he's got a few more of those in him, this lead will start shrinking even further. And Atlanta calls their first time out of the game. The Hawks leading by 12. And here's Young. He's got five. There's the pass to the monster. Wing shot on the way. And too long on the shot. Well, he uses his body well to lean around the defender. It's always going to be difficult to convert that shot, though. Pass to Portis. Corver against T. To the paint. And there's Lopez. That's good on the assist by T. Teague's got three assists now in this one. You know, they've scored several times already here in the first quarter down low. I like that. It's like a running game in football when you can pound the basketball inside. It also allows you to control the team's transition. And there are more points tacked on here to the early lead. And it's a nice lead as well. I mean, it's no mystery how they've done it. They're attacking the basket. Now, here's Ande Takumbo. Lopez, a screen on Gallinari. Ande Takumbo kicks to Holland. Here's Portis. That shot is no good. And he's one for three from the floor. The Hawks leading by 12. Young with the ball. And Holiday picks him up defensively. Here's the monster. Shot is off. Good D by Lopez. Bucks have gone 5 of 12 from the field since the opening tip. Back to T. The Bucks working the ball around. Lopez sets a screen for Holiday. Clock at four. They find Jay on the way. Rebound Atlanta. Young outside. They set the pick. Colinari wide open. Another three for Atlanta. They couldn't have dreamed of a much better start here than they've had today. I think the offensive game plan they came in with was right on point. It's worked perfectly, and the lead they already have is proof in the pudding. Fires from deep. The shot's good from Lopez. Lopez has got five points so far. It only took them a few seconds to answer the three ball with one of their own. Greg, we've got a three-point battle taking shape here. Now, here is Young. He's got five. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. 
Here's on to Takumbo. Quick shot there, and it's off target. He's been wayward and just off on about everything he's put up in this period. Young against Holland. Young dishes to Collins. And that one is hammer home. Puts it down. Rubs it in. It looks like a little deeper with the hanging finish. I tell you what, they're not backing off at all, are they? Now, here is Holiday. Back to Teague. Just five on the clock. This is the Lopez. And there's the three second violation. Now, looking back at the regular season now, at the leaderboard of the highest scoring small forwards. These guys putting up the offense, trying to get their teams to the playoffs. Second, Giannis Ande de Kumbo. I mean, tremendously gifted athletically. I mean, we're used to seeing that at that spot on the floor, and they pretty much all give astonishing individual performances on any given night. Well, we know the small forward spot is where the bulk of the scoring load rests on most teams. I mean, those players on that list always come through in the scoring department. These guys pack a lot of firepower. That drops. He always knows where his teammate's going to be, and Kevin, that will let him put the ball where he wants it, right waiting for him. Atlanta calls timeout. And now, the Atlanta Hawks cheerleaders. A different look for Milwaukee. John Henson's checked in for Lopez. Parker comes in for Portis. And it's Mayo in for Drew Holiday. Goes is their best. He's now three for four. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Yeah, you've got to turn up the dial on the intensity at the defensive end if you're them. I mean, it's still early, but I agree with you. Defender a little hesitant to offer resistance as he bursts to the hoop. The Hawks leading by 12. Henson pulls it down. And already we've got a very lopsided edge on the board for them. Yeah, plus five. As you mentioned, that didn't take very long, did it? Hey guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Hawks? They've definitely had a hot hand from three-point range. Always nice to get off to a good start. Something else they've done a good job of tonight, All right, now, you know, right from the start, is penetrating and scoring. That's good from out of the Kumbo. Young's checked in for Golinar. Free throws good from out of the Kumbo. The Hawks leading by 10. Stolen by Henson. And here we go. Teague heading to the hoop. The lead now cut to single digits. Teague's got six points. And good passing setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Time dropping delights is what I call it. I will give you that. Yeah, he's on the money, that's no doubt. Now, here is Young. He has seven. Busts the J after the KG pass thing. Nine points in the game so far. He's played an important role in their offense today, guys. Without him, they may not be in the lead. T kicks to Parker. 
feeds it to Antetokounmpo. Shot clock at five. The shot, no good. So the Hawks will take it the other way. Tell you what, they haven't wasted any time getting into the swing of things on the board. And even this early, that's a good omen for the rest of the game. Zeller, a screen on T. Six second difference between shot and game play. Young pass to Zeller. Oh, the officials are all over that. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without foul. The Hawks have gone three for three at the line tonight. First free throw is good. And he makes both free throws. the Kumbo. He's got five. And he goes in for the dunk. Explosive leaping ability. Oh, that was pretty. And he just has that part, that effortless net for getting inside. Mm -hmm. and, and guys, how about how fearsome he is at times? I mean, you'd hate to be the guy tasked with guarding him. And before the game, a player on the rise, he feels he still has a lot to prove. Defensively, offensively, uh, you know, I think I'm better offensively than people give me credit for, and I'm stronger than I look. And uh, that's something that I'm trying to prove this year, as I've been proving the last three or four, so uh, it's going to be fun. Well, it sounds like he still feels like he has something to prove, Greg, but Seems to me he's already known for being that kind of guy. Yeah, that's a great point. Anybody who plays against him knows he looks plenty strong when you're banging with him. But, but if he needs to push and motivate himself by playing with a chip on his shoulder, well, well, a lot of guys have gone a long, long way in this league using that method. And we're set to get started again for the next bit of action in this game three. Well, from what you guys are seeing from the Hawks, what are you thinking about their performance? And we've really seen them get out and establish a real nice rhythm offensively in this game. Yeah, and they're finding ways to score multiple ways, playing well and uh, sharing the ball, just operating good at the offensive end. We've got Young. Williams is out there with Bogdanovich. Then it's Tyler Zeller, and it's Capella in at the four. So that's the Hawks' five. Outside Mayo. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. just see some things that can be improved and wants to get everybody back on the same page. And usually that to me is a good use of the timeout. I mean if there's something that he's noticed that can give his team a lift uh, I think he's got to try to take advantage of that. The Monsters checked in for Tyler Zeller. Six to shoot. Mayo dishing to T. A three-pointer, no good. It's a plus-five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board. Very steady with their work on the interior. Really a well-rounded effort overall. Use that pick to get in close. 
Cabela's got the first points up on the board here in the second quarter for the Hawks. Williams against T. Pass to Mayo. He kicks to Parker. Fires high post. Milwaukee, no good that time either. That's one he knows he should have drained. Williams against T. And the foul on John Henson. That is his first foul of the game. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Yeah, but he was late to get there, Greg, so the referee couldn't give him a free pass on that one. And the Hawks making a change here. Corbis checked in, and then for Milwaukee. Lopez comes in for Henson. And it's Holiday in for Jeff T. Here's Bogdanovich, guarded by Mayo. Goes up on the high post. Can't get it to go. Well, that's a tough one. But he did all he could there, using the leaner to get the shot off. And again, the Bucks miss. The Atlanta leading by 12. Outside Williams, he dishes it to Corver. To the middle, here's the monster. He goes up again, and he sinks the layup. Cabello's got his second bucket of the night. Just lazy defense on the glass there. Well, nobody boxed out. Nobody put a body on anybody else. Things like that not only drive the coach crazy, that stuff gets under my skin. Holiday attacking, and he gets it to go. Offensively, he can be the engine that drives them at any given time. Hawks have gone two of five from the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jabari Parker. That'll be his second foul of the game. And that's foul number two. And maybe you don't sit him at this point, but you really have to be careful to not pick up another before half. Here's what Atlanta's going with right now. Collins checked in for Capella. Alinari comes in for Bogdanovich. Young is subbed in for Lou Williams. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. There's the dish to Young. That's good from Gallinari on the assist by Young. Gallinari's got seven. The number of points they've scored in the paint already today is pretty eye-opening. It, it really is, Clark. The defenders need to do a better job of closing those lanes to the hoop. Lopez a screen. And Middleton kicks to Lopez. Hits the three-point bomb. He's got eight. Great opportunity right there. He's got such tremendous length. He can just rise up and get separation for the three. Shoots from 14, and again it's at that. And just a little bit ragged defensively there, Clark. Bucks trail by 13. Pass to Portis. Three-pointer. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. You know, maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot that he can afford to give him. Corver attacking out of bounds. Milwaukee takes possession. Some good defense in the NBA, so let's check out the leaders. Fifth best, the Bucks. Kevin, their opponents haven't been able to score effectively throughout the regular season because they always seem to have an answer for whatever offense their opponents throw at them. Bucks have gone three of seven shooting the ball here in the second quarter. The pass to Portis. In the corner, Middleton with it. Outside Mayo. Six on the shot clock. Lopez passes to Middleton. Goes up on the wing. Rebound by the Hawks. And that'll increase their rebound event. They've definitely been winning that battle on the board. You know what? No rebounds, no rings, and they've controlled the boards. And that's what's given them control of this game. Here's Collins. That one is good again. He sits right from the floor with the basket. And after his last game, really not surprised to see him as hot as he is here tonight. Passes it to Portis. There's the three. And the shot is good. Portis has got to back down to single digits for the Bucks. They're going back to the three-point shot over and over and over. 
and they may have found the Achilles heel of this defense. That was their ninth straight point from beyond the arc. Uses the glass to finish the over. And that's now nine points for the Monster. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash mouth basketball, guys. They're all about imposing your will offensively, getting exactly the kind of looks their coach drew up. Portis, the pass to Lopez. Here's Holiday. That's good, and he's now three for four from the field. You always hear about chemistry. That's a perfect example, knowing where each other is at all times. And Young kicks to Gallinari. He feeds it to Collins. And this sort of awesome pump is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now. Clark, there is a swagger out here on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. That's right. I tell you what, I used to love to go up and jam like that. Golinari against Middleton. Pass to Portis. There's the triple. Rebound, Atlanta. Here's Young. Nine points in the game so far. And it's Gallinari again missing. He hit a three in the first, but so far has been unable to capitalize here in this court. Lopez with the block. It's three on three on the fast break. And Holiday throws it down. That's a quick bucket there. Solid in transition. Well, you know, he loves the chance to get out and run, and we could see right there why he does. Atlanta calls timeout. And the Bucks making a change here. Ante de Kubos checked in. The Hawks leading by nine. Outside Corver. Going outside. Nine feet out. And it's sent back by Lopez. As break, Milwaukee. And under the Kumbo slams it in. Tell you what, Kevin, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. Mark, that deficit will go away quickly if he does. And how about how he capped that one out? Almost like the one-two punch. And that one's good. And that's now 11 points for Cool Hands. It's out of Kumbo on the wing. Gallinari covering. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Boy, after struggling in the first quarter, he's come alive here in the second. Milwaukee shooting their fifth free throw in the game here. Zeller is checked in for the Hawks. Good from out of the combo. Atlanta leading by six. Young inside, guarded by Holiday. Young's shot is off. The Bucks have gone eight of fifteen since we began the second quarter. Excellent shooting, and that one's good. Lopez has got a pair of triples in the second now for the Bucks. What are you going to do defensively? Such separation with the height advantage in that matchup. Gallinari against Zaldacumbo. And it's Gallinari missing. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Mayo, the pass to Ports. To Mayo. Kicks to Antetokounmpo. Portis, he dents the rim with a two-handed slam. Wow. 
And, and guys, right now, the defense mentally not there. Can't afford too many of those in a close game like this. Yeah, Jay, you're right. Almost a free run, don't you think? Clark to the hoop for him there. Momentum can swing on plays like that, Kevin, especially when the finish has that much thunder on it. Some firepower, Clark, from his offense. Yeah. Kevin, how about the air confidence? I mean, they yeah. really look like they believe in what they're doing. Yeah, they got a nice groove going right now offensively. Collins, a screen on Hubble. Gallinari up top, guarded by Mayo. Gallinari against Mayo, five on the clock. The Hawks need to get off a shot here. Collins gets it to go from beyond the arc. Collins has got nine points now in the quarter. Offensively, it's been a perfect quarter for him. He hasn't missed a single shot. Outside, out of the Kumbo. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. How about that fantastic finish and the aggressive move, too, Kevin? Trying to send a message, Clark, with that slam, I think. And, and I'm not sure if it was text or email, but he definitely <laughs> threw that one down. How's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. And then the young fella busts out the slip move inside to get open for the jam. Greg, that was sick and slick. The D had no chance. Yeah, he was one step ahead of him the entire way. Solid, solid work on the back end of that play. Yeah, finish hard with two hands on the stuff. Yeah, nothing extravagant, guys, but again, no need on that one. Young. Tries again. Collins, good. Collins has got 20. As he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Leaps for it. Lopez outside. To the inside. Wants to get it to Adetokounmpo and does. It's stolen by Corver. 132 left in the first half of basketball. Knocks it loose. It's out of bounds. Last touch by Corbin. And, and that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. Capella's checked in. Young comes in for Golinari. Bogdanovich is checked in for Kyle Corbin. And Lewis Williams subbed in for Young. And then for Milwaukee. Henson's checked in for Lopez. Parker comes in for Portis. And it's Teague in for O.J. Mayer. Henson a screen on Williams. T dishes to Henson. Parker right side. 107 left to play in the first half. The shot from the low post is good. Your heads up aggressive play right there. Saw the smaller man on him and took it straight to the basket. Teague against Williams. Rejected by T. Here's Bogdanovich, guarded by Holiday. Goes up again, and it's good on the way in. Cabello's got six points in the quarter. They've owned the offensive glass here in the second. And, and making a point of getting in there and vying for missed shots. Over in the corner, out of the Kumbo. And it's off from three-point range. The Hawks leading by four. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Bogdanovich. He's just scored his first basket with that shot, making him one for four. There's 21 seconds left here in the second. Outside, out of the Kumbo. defense apart and let's face it they have not brought their A game on that side of the ball and so it's a close game as we wrap up the first half of basketball Hawks ahead they're up by four and now we'll send it down to Doris Burke who's standing by courtside Kevin we have Brooke Lopez with us what's the attitude you have as a team right now Oh, I'm so excited, you know, it's really thrilling to come out with such a great group of guys every night, you know, and uh, play basketball, you know, it's just, it's a lot of fun. Brooke, thank you very much. Kevin, over to you. Thank you, Doris, and folks, don't go away after the break. 
We'll see you right back here for the start of the second half in the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. And a heightened atmosphere we have here this evening for NBA playoff action. Hey, everybody, I'm Ernie Johnson. Got Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith by my side. Checking out Atlanta, the first two games of this series were evenly split, and the first half of this game followed suit. They're still searching for that extra edge that will give them the upper hand here in game three. It has become quite the series. Kenny, what was your take on Atlanta? Well, the reserves really came through when they needed a spark. This is a close game. Any points you can get from your bench are huge. I thought the bench guys came in and inserted themselves like they wanted a starting spot. And that's what you want. Subs who are ready to produce the moment they step on the floor. And now Shaq, let's get your opinion on Milwaukee. Well, they've been getting work on the glass. Out hustled, out muscled, out bustled. Where's the fight? I know they got some tough matchups down low, but if they really want to win the game, they need to crash the boards way harder in the second half. Just about time for the third quarter to get underway, and we'll see you again at the Horn. Welcome back as we get set to continue our coverage of this round one playoff matchup. He's been absolutely in control. No slowing down for ABC. He has 20 points, and he's knocked down a pair of three-pointers in this game, too. And maybe it's time for them to set a few more screens for him up top and let him add to that total. 